Okay, let's do this again. One last time. Your friend Bojack. P.S. Horseman. Hey, hello, how do you do? Shady Do Rags here. The trailer dropped, you guys. Season 6 trailer of Bojack Horseman. The final season of Bojack Horseman. Yeah, it dropped, and uh, I have a couple words I want to say about it. So going through the trailer, the first thing I noticed was that that music was amazing. <laughs> I was really feeling that music. Season 6 looks like it's going to be... I would say a pretty good season. I'm hoping it's going to be a spectacular season. I wasn't a big fan of season five. And uh, even back when it was just the trailer, I wasn't really happy with how the trailer came out. Um, it felt like they were trying to overemphasize the one line that Diane kept repeating. And yeah, that line went with the theme of the of the season uh, now that we've seen it. But it, it felt a little bit forced. This trailer feels a lot more natural. It's Bojack reading off a letter that he's sending to, I think it's Diane. Dear Diane, hello. This is a letter. Showcasing that he is improving mentally. He's starting to believe that he doesn't have to be miserable. Uh, we need to take into account, though, that everything he says in that letter might not actually be in the letter in the show. They probably just threw in some lines that he says in the show and then made it seem like it was part of the letter. Uh, that seems to be what's going to be going on with Bojack. Bojack seems to be mainly focusing on the, the rehab, but we can't tell. Uh, we can't tell because that, that could just be the first episode for all we know. But that's all they showcase is what I should say. Um, and I hope I hope Bojack ends on a happy note. I, I don't want... I mean, it could be poetic if the show ends him on a miserable note. But I just want people to know they don't have to have a miserable life. They can be happy. Moving on, Diane, they showed her. Diane, it looks like she's going to go through the regular Diane process in that she's going to be doing something that has a good effect and also has a bad effect and she's mainly going to be focusing on the bad effect. Uh, they showed her in a video she's wearing a necklace and it's giving her a rash which means she's probably going to be sponsoring some uh, something that is bad for people but doing good stuff for the company or maybe it's doing good stuff for people or whatnot but she's going to feel guilty about the bad stuff it's doing. It's a stereotypical Diane conflict and I'm hoping they go a little bit deeper. I need someone Someone to challenge this woman's worldview. I need a season one Diane, or basically a character with season one Diane's mindset to come in and talk to season six Diane to challenge her. Just somebody with good, um, a good moral compass to challenge how Diane views the world. I don't want to end this season, because it's the final season, I don't want to end it hating this character. This was originally my favorite character. I would like to enjoy her again. I would like to see her come out of this mentality she's been in for the past, what, three seasons of just this hypocritical mindset. I really I, I really want to like this character. Princess Carolyn, she, I felt like Princess Carolyn was shown more than the other characters, uh, but that could just be me. But she's going through exactly what everybody predicted she's going through. I'm a strong, independent woman, doing it all. <laughs> I haven't even had a spare minute to think of a name. She's getting this baby and it's going to be way more of a handful than we than she thought it was because she has a very busy work life. So a baby is a very busy work life. So combining a, a job busy work life with a baby busy work life is just not really going to clash well. I mean, yeah, we all predicted this was going to happen, which is why we all were like she should have stayed with... Um, can't think of his name right now, but the mouse guy. We were all saying it. She should have stayed with him. Todd looks like he's going to go through something dealing with his mother and this guy named Jorge, um, which could be his stepdad or it could be his actual dad who he just doesn't like, which is why he specifically calls him Jorge. And Mr. Peanut Butter, it looks like they're going to challenge him on the concept of him appearing happy. I mean... This woman <laughs> says, she tells him that, um... People who seem happy can actually be the most depressed. And he gives the most Mr. Peanut Butter response he could to her saying that. Oh no, I seem very happy. I feel like they're being a bit direct with that, but again, with Mr. Peanut Butter, you kind of have to be. His head doesn't really wrap around vagueness. Even directness, a lot of times, just goes completely over his head. But I feel like they're finally going to address that. Me personally, when I did my video about whether or not Mr. Peanut Butter was happy, the point of my video was that he is happy, but don't stop analyzing him just because you know he's happy. Keep looking beyond that. 
It looks like no return of any serious characters. Or um, I would be kind of shocked if they don't bring some of them back. Like, it's the finale. You know, a lot of people were expecting Charlotte to come back because Bojack has gone and talked to Penny and talked to her husband. So a lot of people expected Charlotte to be back. I thought Hollyhock was going to come back next season or last season, uh, which she did, but for like one episode. The fact that this is the last season, hmm. Well, what does that mean for me personally? My channel is heavily like the more popular videos on my channel are bojack horseman analysis so what would that do for my channel well first of all um the show ending doesn't mean i have to stop talking about bojack horseman uh avatar ended some decade ago and people are still making videos on it freaking shakespearean plays have been over for how long <laughs> people still talk about them i can still make bojack horseman content second uh you might have noticed that but i have been trying to do other stuff the BoJack Horseman. I've been trying to deviate from it and conquer other shows and other types of formats. So either way, even if it was going to keep going, I probably wouldn't have done as much BoJack Horseman content as I did. I, I would say 2018 was just when I did the most BoJack Horseman content, whereas this year, 2019, I haven't done as much. Um, and even if I wasn't, though, like I felt that this is a good time to end it. I feel that this is a very good time to end it. I originally said like eight seasons was probably the max they could go before it started hitting seasonal rot. Um, I started feeling the seasonal rot in season five. I know not everybody agrees with me on that, but I didn't think season five was top tier season. And I thought that was heavily because they were retreading ideas. So with season six, I would say this is a very good ending point. It's better that they go off on a, on a high note while the show is still good than drag their feet along and try to drag out the popularity of the show i'm i am overall glad that it is ending not because it was a bad show but i think it had a good run and all good things must come to an end so yeah that's my thoughts on the season six trailer it's gonna be exciting i'm planning on doing something when part one comes out there's gonna be it's a two-parter they're splitting it and i'm not sure how i feel about that uh but the first part's gonna be october the second part's gonna be in january I'm going to do something for both those parts. I'm not sure what. It might just be another episode rundown. I might live stream or something. I'm not 100% sure of what I'm going to do. But BoJack has been a major part of this channel. It's only natural that I give it like a huge send-off as it comes to an end. Um, and like I said, just because it's ending doesn't mean that will be the end of BoJack Horseman content. But it is the end of the show. And the hype around it is probably going to die down for a good couple of years. But, uh... Yeah, I'm looking forward to season six, and we'll see what happens in the upcoming ventures of our favorite sad horse. This has been Shady Durex. So long. Farewell. Advita Sin. Goodbye.